today's video I'm going to show you how to mount an M.2 NVMe drive on an Orange Pi 5 single board computer. And as you can see I installed mine right there. As you can see the way I did it was I used these M.2 screws to do that. So the one that I have on the top is this one, this two and a half I think millimeters or something. M.2 screw size A. And on the back of it I use any of these you could use any of these screws. I'll show you how to do that. So if you have a if you have a orange pie five in a case that's easy to do. You could just unscrew the four screws on the bottom and uh, install the NVMe drive or M.2 NVMe. I'll show you how to do this. So I'm just going to unscrew this first. Make sure the screws on the top are fastened. Just hold on that and then just screw it out. If you don't have a case, then you don't have to do this. You could just simply mount the M.2 NVMe drive, so I'm just going to take that out uh, and just take the bottom part out like so. And uh, I'm just going to disassemble it and show you. So this kit came with this M.2 screwdriver, so I'm going to remove this part right here. This panel. So I'm just going to take it apart and show you how you can put it back in together. Okay, I got the M.2 screw out. And as you can see, I mounted the mount like that. So the way I did it was take it out right now. So one of the mounts is, which I showed you, size A. And the one on top of it that I'm using, using it to fasten it is any 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 of them so just screw it in like that and that kind of like helps it stay in place on your board so I'm sure you have to do that to get the M.2 drive in I think you got to get it in an angle like this it goes in just one way push it in at an angle. It looks like maybe 35 degrees or 40 degree angle like that. And you, now you could push it down but you have to put the mount in first. So this smaller piece, the size A, goes on the top side basically like that. And on the bottom side, I don't have a nut, so I'm just using another M.2. I think I'm using a size B this time. It could be any, it doesn't matter. Just gonna screw that in there. So I'm pushing down and screwing it in like that. So now the mount's in. So I get the M.2 screw in there. 
So I'm going to push down on this and put the screw in. Whoops! I dropped it. So clumsy of me. Let's see. Now that's in. You don't have to over tighten it. Just make sure it's on there pretty firmly. So hold the nut on the bottom and then. Okay, that's good enough. I don't have to tighten it, over tighten. So now I'm going to get this piece in. I'm going to get all these pieces aligned. And I'm just going to put the screws back on, and that should be it. Let's see if everything's aligned or not. I like to do it diagonally like this. Whoops. Let me get one of the screws in and then I'll, I will show you how to do the rest. It's kind of hard to do on camera. Okay, now I have a problem. One of the nuts are loose on the top. So I have a pair of pliers like this to hold the nut on the top while I screw in the bottom. So I could fasten it better. Okay, good. So now I'll get all the other screws in. It should be ready to go. Get the next screw in diagonally. Okay, I got that screw in, so what I want to do is I'm going to fasten this again. Okay, good. So I'm making all the screws in. As long as you have it aligned diagonally, it should be okay. The other screw should just go in more easily. Okay. And then the last screw. Make sure you push in the sides so you can better align the screws. Make sure everything's on there firmly. And that's all you have to do. And now it's securely in place, as you can see. I don't think I tightened it enough but I'll do that and I'll show you after okay not perfectly parallel but um, it looks secure enough you can see it under here like this part definitely not perfectly parallel but so that's that's what that's the mount that I put on I think the mount has to be a little bit smaller. I couldn't find anything smaller than that for M.2. 
mount, screw mount. Okay, so now I want to see if the SSD is in here, if it's connected, so go here. So I do have it in there, as you can see, 238.5 gigabytes. That's the device. I could now use it on um, any operating system. Select this and install it if I want. Select the architecture and install it. Not going to use it on this operating system, but I'm just showing you that I installed it correctly and it's detecting on my uh, computer uh, on this operating system. I'm going to shut down. Um, if you found this helpful, you can thumbs up this video. If you have any thoughts, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.